Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Erica Hughes. Um, we are working on a 16 inch deep edge canvas. This is over a report. I've just smeared a little um, of my base color that I'm going to be using today on it. I didn't flood the canvas, just smeared it on it so it didn't distract you guys from the colors I'm using today. Okay, so let's just dive right in. I'm going to do um, Chaos Style Dutch Pour. The colors I'm using is Sockeye by This Little Piggy, Golden Peach by This Little Piggy, Van Dyke Brown potentially, Sea Glass by This Little Piggy, and then uh, Titanium White tinted with, or I should say, Amsterdam Turquoise Green tinted with white, Titanium White by Amsterdam. Um, if you guys want to see how I mix my paints, you can check out the video link in the description box just underneath this video and i also have some Amster amsterdam titanium white and i added a teeny tiny bit of van dyke brown just to get the shade here it's like a nice cream okay so i want to do a chaos style dutch pour so let's just jump right in for you guys um, I don't want it to be too bold and crazy, so I'm going to kind of chill out and not put so much color down on the corners. So I'm going to put some color here and some color here. So let's just go for it. Let's start with Golden Peach. And I'm going to put the colors down, see how I feel, and then we'll add in some of the base. So again, I'm going to kind of try to chill out, uh, not putting too much color down. I want this to maybe be, we'll see, um, like a soft kind of Dutch, chaos -y Dutch pour. Or whatever, just <laughs> acrylic pour. And just get a bit of contrast in there with that Van Dyke Brown. And... I'm going to blend this side before I actually put the colors down there just to see how we're getting on. I'm going to add a little bit of this base color. Then I'm going to get my hair dryer and just blow this around a little bit. too bad so we're gonna kind of do the same thing these aren't really normally my colors uh, but we're just kind of going for something a little bit different today and like I said I don't want to have too much color on the canvas I just want this to kind of be soft So as you can see, I'm more so kind of like layering these colors so they don't get too mixed up. And we throw some of this down. And again, we'll blow this out. Oh, we're just going to kind of, um, I'm just, just blending them in a bit. I'm going to still mess with it. But now I'm going to pour down that base. These are the same. I'm just going to start. I know I'm going to need more than just that. So. And we'll get the hair dryer. And blow this around. I like this side a lot. just I don't want to leave too much um, base in the middle here because this is going to be 
I might as well use that base paint towards the edges, cover the, end, the sides. Um, please, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, let's um, hit the sub subscription button below this video. If you like what you're seeing, hit the bell to be notified when I upload new acrylic pouring or fluid art videos. And I'd appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. So we're just kind of pushing some of this around. Actually, let's go back this way. Just to cover up everything. And then we're going to blow out some petals. I'm really liking this over here. And I think I messed up here. I dragged my finger through that. Look at that. My glove right through there. So <laughs> we'll be sure to blow that around a little bit more. Got to get some better fitted gloves because that, that's not cool. All right. So we're going to put a little bit more paint here to cover this corner. And maybe a tad here. I'm going to go off the edge there. And then I'll catch the drips and touch up my edges as usual. Um, I'm really... I want to put in some more of the sea glass, just kind of going. Let's see if we can get, when we blow this out, if we can get some of the um, petal edges, just the greens are really pretty color. So now I'm just going to blow out softly. I'm going to kind of bring the hairdryer into this as well, unfortunately, um, to fix that. Okay, this reminds me of my grandmother, these colors. She had a painting, I remember, as a kid in her house. And all right, she had a lot of, like, her tiles and her floors. This really, it's kind of reminded me of my grandma, which is cool. Random, yes, but it is. Um, okay, I'm really happy with the colors. I love this bit here. And I'm actually just going to take my finger and scrape. And I will... The scrape the drip so it doesn't pull too much of that down. Um, I have to say there are some spots that I need to fix. I think um, I do really. This is so out of my color zone, and I'm actually loving it. And I love this right here. Um, I'm not really too happy with all this how this mix, but I'm afraid if I mess with it more. It may start to get really muddy, so I might do like a finger dip just to make it look like it's not, you know, like. And here, I feel like I might blow that out just a little that way. I really love this corner, and I will kind of mouth blow that over just so it covers that corner. But I love the softness of the petals. That's what I wanted. I didn't want too intense um yeah i just didn't want it to be too intense too dark and so yeah let me um attempt this here i really love that and now i have another color idea in my head that i'm gonna go for um 
for my next pour. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and blow some of this off, or just this chunk here into this and hope for the best. Okay, now you can see I messed that up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna probably turn this around and work on it that way because I think it'll be easier. Deciding if I want to maybe drizzle some. Like that. A little bit of the sea glass. I'm not going to do the Van Dyke Brown because there's still some kind of hanging out in there. Did I even put this in there? I did. I think. And now I'm just going to kind of blow that out. just leave it because I'm starting to like really mess it up in here. There's like a eyelash or something in there. I'm probably just gonna leave this alone. I'm just gonna leave it. it. The colors are really gorgeous and I'm loving just all the cells and I love this like little river vein or branch or whatever going through. I like this corner and I love this corner. And what I like is that they're different. So I have these lovely like peach cells with the sockeye. And I probably called that, I wonder did I call that salmon? It's actually sockeye, I always called it salmon. And then I have the sea glass cells there. So it's cool, there's a lot to look at. I love the softness of the colors. So I am going to fix my edges and then I will bring you guys in for a close up. Okay, so I've tidied up my edges. And I have to say, I really am liking this. I think it's really gorgeous. I love the soft petals um, that go into like the base, the negative space. And I really love this corner. And I love that uh, like branch river thing going through. have to say I was a little bit nervous about these colors, but I think it actually turned out really nice. And I have a few other color palettes in mind um, based off this pour. The cells are awesome. I love this corner here as well. There's a lot going on in this painting. There's a lot to look at. So overall, I am happy. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let's turn off the overhead and turn the flash and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see what we can get sparkle-wise. Gorgeous. The golden peach is awesome. Love it. Of course, the sea glass. Uh, let's see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this so reminds me of my grandparents' house. I love it. 
There we go. What a nice little surprise. And all that sparkle. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified when I hit um, upload a new video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.